You can go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsHealth.com. Sign up there for auto ship. You can get 10% off. Uh, but, well, there's a lot of different specials. When you pay $10, you can get uh, a uh, membership where you get big discounts. You can also sign up for auto ship, get free shipping. There's a bunch of specials. You can find InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsHealth.com. There's also toll-free numbers that I'll give you later that are right there uh, on the site's InfoWarsTeam.com. You can sign up there and find all the products. You can also become a distributor, like I said, for $10 and get big discounts across the board uh, and support the broadcast, but also sell the product. Uh, so it's a great startup business, and a lot of people I know have gotten involved with InfoWarsTeam.com and become uh, extremely um, successful doing that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to Peter uh, Glidden, Dr. Peter Glidden, to cover the waterfront uh, with him today. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, why does it seem people are getting sicker and sicker, suffering from more and more chronic illnesses? What are some of the reasons uh, we need to educate ourselves and others about different ways to handle disease in the body? Why is this so? What is the philosophy of MDs, and why don't they believe that the body can fix itself in many cases? Why are MDs taught that they are the only ones who can manage conditions? Because it's, it's, it's an imperial priesthood. And it is run by the big drug companies, folks. We'll talk about big pharma, how they're brainwashing us, and more. But also we'll talk about the, the new book that I've read, that my dad has read. It's amazing. It's revolutionary. We sell it at InfoWarsStore.com. Epigenetics, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission. And we're going to talk about that with Dr. Peter Glidden as well. So, Doc, thank you for coming on, and thanks for your uh, great support uh, of InfoWarsHealth.com and InfoWarsTeam.com. Uh, I know of the whole organization, uh, you are, you know, the strongest uh, overall, uh, you know, generator of new folks coming to the site uh, and working with us. And so without you, uh, many of our new projects uh, wouldn't be successful right now. So thank you so much for your help, not just in revolution of health, uh, but also in helping uh, get the overall news out. Alex, it's always a pleasure to be here. You're welcome. You know, like Benjamin Franklin said, my cousin, by the way, Benjamin Franklin, unless we hang together, most assuredly, we will hang alone. That's right. Absolutely. We're going to break here in a few minutes. But uh, first off here today, uh, what are you planning to cover? Well, everybody in this country is sick, and we're not getting better, we're getting worse. Our health is deteriorating uh, every single solitary month. Things are getting worse. The leading cause of bankruptcy in the United States, medical bills. The leading cause of death, MD-directed medical treatments. Something is going on here, and Dr. Wallach and I are the only ones talking about it. The best place to hide something, of course, is in plain sight. So I'm going to pull back the curtains on what's going on here in the medical arena and really get into some very specific things people can do right now today to make a gigantic difference in their overall health. Because as God is my witness, Alex, people are suffering needlessly. Well, and you're not just saying that. Look at every metric. They admit that hospitals are the number one killer in the country now. Uh, and, and then down the line, the drugs, uh, the drug interactions, all of it. I know so many family members, so many people that go in to have minor surgery and are dead. I mean, just, just, just dead all around me. Death, death, death. Drug-resistant stuff pouring across the borders wide open. This is crazy town. It is crazy town, and you know, it's not the gun, it's how it's used, right? Well, guess what? It's not the drug, it's how it's used. I'm not against drugs. I can prescribe drugs, for goodness sake, but there's a way to use pharmaceutical medicines, which is effective and supportive, and there's a way to use pharmaceutical medicines, which is destructive. And most people in the United States have no earthly idea that their medical doctors, I mean, bless their hearts, your MD may be the nicest person God ever created, a humanitarian, a really great person, but they don't know what's best for you. They only know what they've been trained in. And what they've been trained in, as it turns out, is just one small piece of the pie of medical science. And when people understand how MDs are trained to think about the relationship between the human body and disease, it, it, everything will change when people understand how the MDs think and how they operate. And, you know, quite frankly, that there are, in fact, 
science-based, clinically verified alternatives to drugs and surgery. All right. And Just stay there, Dr. Glidden. This is powerful stuff coming up. Telling veterans, just go die in a ditch. Oh, yeah, you're all going to get, you know, health care now. It's just going to be horrible quality care. Dr. Peter Glidden is our guest breaking this down right now. And if you're watching him on television, uh, you can see his website uh, right up there on screen. And I want him to uh, describe what that free doctor book is all about because that sounds very interesting. Uh, but again, ladies and gentlemen, it is very important to really consciously think about this each day that if we, by, by increments, because none of us are perfect, really start trying to drink more water, get healthy, take the right vitamins and minerals, eat the fresh food, that it'll change our lives. And it's a process, but people can see the process in my life. Incredibly stressful job, incredibly stressful life, long hours, but I look a lot better than I looked a few years ago, and it's a process. But, but none of it's going to happen overnight. Uh, there's his book, The MD Emperor Has No Clothes. And again, we'll give you that website, putting Glidden back up on screen via video Skype. If you're a listener, you can go to infowars.com forward slash show to find the free video feeds uh, that accompany the radio show right now. Freedoctorbook.com. Tell us about that, Doc, and then let's get into the big bombshell info. Well, knowledge is power, Alex. I mean, look around. Everybody's sick. Everybody's suffering. Everybody's getting worse. Everybody's taking prescription medications. I mean, you know, I'm 56. I didn't know anybody when I was a kid that had Alzheimer's. I didn't know anybody that had autism. I, Alzheimer's has risen from obscurity to the, become the sixth leading cause of death. One out of 89 children now are born autistic. Arthritis is skyrocketing. High blood pressure is skyrocketing. Medical doctors that went through in the 50s and 60s have said on this show that they would have to get on airplanes to fly to see a child with cancer. It was so rare. Now they're just kids everywhere dying all around me. And the reason that this is happening is not because of, you know, uh, excessive radiation and pollution in the world. There are factors that have to do with this. But the reason that most people are sick and suffering is because we've taken the wrong dog to the hunt. I mean, for goodness sake, if you had a, heaven forbid, if you had a bullet in your arm, you would not go to a chiropractor to have that removed because that's not their wheelhouse. It's not the wheelhouse of the chiropractor to do surgery, right? Well, as it turns out, your MD is the wrong person to go to if you're suffering with a chronic disease. The wheelhouse of the MD is trauma care, surgery when it's absolutely necessary, and a handful of infectious diseases. That's their wheelhouse, that's what they excel in, and in a perfect world, it would be illegal for them to do anything else because when they bring their philosophy of medicine to bear on a human body with a chronic disease, they miss the point completely. And this is why we're sick and suffering, because the MDs, bless their hearts. I mean, I have a lot of friends who are MDs. Your father's an MD. There's room in the world for the MD, but not when it comes to chronic disease, for goodness sake. We're dying at record rates. I mean, not even dying, just suffering, right? Can't even play 18 holes of golf anymore because people, you know, their knees can't handle it. People can't fall asleep at night without a sedative. Chronic heartburn, chronic just low-grade stuff that's whittling it's away. It's because the they don't have the trace it's elements. Bad. It's because they don't have the trace elements, right? Well, this is the thing. The, the, our position is. That when it comes to chronic disease, there's education that people need to know. And all chronic disease can be traced back to nutrient deficiencies, especially minerals. Nutrient deficiencies, especially minerals. But the sad fact of the matter is, it is impossible to get all of the body's nutrient needs met just by eating food. You can't do it. It's impossible. So, unless and until... You are supplementing your diet with a good, high-quality medical nutrition program. It is only a matter of time until something you run out of something, and then something breaks. And then your only option, because of Obamacare, is to go to an MD who hasn't been trained in how to fix it. They've just been trained in how to manage it. And this is why everybody's dying. That's one of the biggest factors, I agree with you, and it's scary 
that the U.S. leads the world in breast cancer, in diabetes. I mean, we're not being negative here. We're being very positive to admit the problems. Long 18-minute segment coming up. I'm going to try to give you the floor for most of it to really lay out some of the basic truths that are revolutionary and, and then get into some of the breaking news. I want to talk about epigenetics. I know you're really into that as well. I find that to be so exciting and more and more mainline science is saying this is where it's at. We'll be right back with Dr. Peter Glidden. We're on the march.